What's up everybody, RetroPie guy here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a keyboard on RetroPie. Um, so for today, we're going in uh, for the first time on our SD card here. So we're going off the welcome screen. Now, if you've already set up a gamepad controller with RetroPie on your card, you can go in through the main menu. So you just hit um, start on your gamepad to jump into the main menu and then go down to configuration input and you'd come to this next page that we're gonna to go to. So if this is your first time, on your card setting up a keyboard or any um, gamepad whatsoever, you'd get the same screen that I have on right here. We would just hold down um, any key on the keyboard. You'll see keyboard will populate across the bottom of this um, white box here. So you see keyboard there and then we instantly jump into the configuring uh, keyboard page here. If you went in through your main menu, you went down to configuration inputs, you'd come to this screen right here. So in order to set up a keyboard, we're just gonna follow a couple of these prompts here. We don't have to do every single one. So for D-pad, we're gonna use our arrow keys. We're gonna go arrow key up. Um, for D-pad down, arrow key down. For D-pad left, we'll do the um, arrow key left. And then for D-pad right, arrow key right. Now for start, do enter. And for select, I like to do the um, caps, caps lock on the left-hand side of our keyboard. And then for each of these um, A, B, X, and Y buttons, we're gonna do those corresponding buttons on our keyboard. So we're gonna do um, our A button for A, B button for B, X button for X, Y button for Y. And then for left shoulder, um, right shoulder, and the triggers, we don't have to do anything. So we're gonna just hold down um, any of the buttons we've already configured. So I'm just gonna hold down enter for all of these. Now we're actually gonna skip all of these because we don't need any of these for our keyboard here. So I'm just holding enter for each of these and it bypasses the option. And we're just gonna go down to this hotkey enable button here. And for the hotkey, we're gonna hit escape. So if we were in a game and we were playing with our keyboard, we would hit our enter button, which we have configured as start, and then the escape button. Um, so together, those would be your hotkeys. But for configuring for the um, hotkey enable here, we're just gonna hit the escape button. So we see it says key escape. Now to confirm all of these, we're just gonna hit A. And that's gonna hit the okay option here. And now we've loaded into our card. So now you can play some games with your keyboard. Um, it's not recommended. I mean, I think you'd be better off with gamepad, but if you wanna have a keyboard for connecting to Wi-Fi or going into some of your RetroPie setup settings, uh, stuff like that, where you do need a keyboard, um, this is the best way to set it up so we can actually navigate through everything by going left or right. Um, if we jump into a, let me jump into the settings here. Probably should have gone the other way just to show you, here we go. So you hit A to select an option, and then just to go up and down here, we can go up and down with the arrow keys, we can switch um, collections by going left or right, and that brings us to our ports or um, our Sega games here. So this is just the easiest way to set up a keyboard on here. Now, if you have to go into like um, your Wi-Fi settings and you're setting up your Wi-Fi password, all your other keys are gonna work on here. So don't worry about having to configure like each letter or number on your keyboard. All that stuff's gonna go through right away. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, the input settings are more for navigation and selecting um, different options throughout the RetroPie card here. So that's it for today. Just a super easy and basic way to set up a keyboard really quick on here. Um, if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole lot of tutorials. Um, gameplay demos, just a whole lot of stuff relating to RetroPie and the Raspberry Pi systems. Um, and then, of course, you can find us online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.